so I just did the read for Libra season and I didn't want to leave it on a note where you know it's talking about loneliness I want to always try and uh, give you lots something to um, strive towards and look forward to so I wanted to look at the energy for Scorpio season um, so I'm doing this and going into my time again I'm supposed to be going somewhere else but I just can't leave you people like with that loneliness mm -mm. I can't do it I can't do it I'm supposed to be going out I'm supposed to be leaving soon so <clears throat> let's see what the energies have for Scorpio season King of Roses. Okay, so the King of Roses is a romantic offer. I think we've seen that at the end of the Libra season um, video here. If you can see, like he's on all these yellow flowers, yellow roses here. Um, it looks like a king, you know. Well, it does say King of Roses, my bad. Um, so it, it is like somebody's coming with a genuine love offer here. So never fear. King of Roses is here. It's like the King of Cups, I guess. You know, love and romance here. Love is here, okay, guys? Love is here. That is somebody coming to make an offer, the King of Ro Roses. Um, an important figure. Um, maybe a male as well. It doesn't really matter about gender when we talk about masculine and feminine energy. Um, we, we have both inside us, okay? So it doesn't really matter about male or female it's just you know there is love here so let's see queen of roses it's like um this ultimate love connection like you can see the smile on my face okay so yeah the king and queen as i was saying you know it can be a man and i shouldn't have but here there you go man or woman doesn't really matter this is the ultimate love connection coming for you guys during Scorpio season. It's going to be filled with love. It's, it's going to be all about um, these romantic connections, this love connection for you. And it's abundant. I mean, look at the look at this. Look at the flowers around her. Look at the flowers around him. It's like she's inside and he's outside so it's just like somebody's almost there somebody's almost here this love offer is almost here and with them being the same suit it's like the ultimate love okay this is um the romance of a lifetime something that could possibly lead to marriage here okay this is like your person coming in this romantic connection here Three of Roses, I'm telling you, I don't know why, I just started feeling, you know, it's it's going to be all about love here, it's all about love, loving elements, okay, so this is like seeing the magic in the world, um, believing in all magical things again, um, look at the fairies around her and, you know, all the different elements there coming together to bring this romantic connection together here, I'm really loving this. Um, it's like everything getting in place for this romance to happen here. So it's like you kind of, you know, when you've been going through it and, you know, okay, I was lonely for that time or I went through some things at that time. You get to see why all these elements had to come together for you two to meet. Okay. So it's like all the loving elements are in place now here. This is wonderful. So let's see here. Let's get some more cards. So yeah, it's like believing in love again here or believing in magic again. This person comes in to like for you to feel love again and it be abundant here. This is abundance in love. This is a lot of love here. The ultimate connection, the king and queen of roses. You know, you're smiling again here. You're happy again. It's the changing of the seasons and, 
you know, it just all seems magical to you again. You know, you're seeing the leaves change colour. You know, you're noticing all the beautiful things around you. I love it. You could be seeing signs that this person are on their way. Ooh, I love that Scorpio season is bringing an abundance of love here. Ooh, Eight of Wands. So yeah, that's Cupid's arrows being shot there, isn't it? You know, um, this movement in this love connection coming in here. These are the vice versa deck, so they have two sides here. But yeah, it's like, finally, there's movement in your love life here. People asking you out, we're going on a date, are we doing this? You know, it's a love connection being made, getting movement. Going forward here, messages coming in, communication, growth here, as you can see, um, more growing on the end of these sticks. The flowers there, it's blooming, it's starting to grow. That's wonderful. I love it. Definitely Cupid coming in for you guys. Oh, so we have the two of wands. The wait is over. This is the other side of it. So, yeah, it's like the wait is over. Somebody's deciding... Um, okay, it's time for me to actually get into a romance. I want somebody now. You know, the wait is over with the Two of Wands there. Because the Two of Wands can be a waiting card as well. Like um, in this deck, like a decision hasn't been made. But it's like you're deciding, okay, I'm closing. Can you see the sun setting there? Um, so like, okay, the sun is setting on this time that I've had in hermit mode. Um, I've grown here and I really want this to work out. And what do we have? Nine of Cups. The Strength card. Okay, so this side of the Strength card is like, you know, you're still facing those toxic energies. But look. You, you, you've tamed those beasts. You've tamed, you've worked on yourself. You've done that work here. That beast is tamed now. So, you know, you've gone through all those negative things. That's behind you. You've tamed that beast of loneliness, let's say, because that's what the last season video was just about. You've tamed that beast coming into um, Scorpio season here. And you're just, you know, you're ready for this. You've come through this stronger than ever. And you get, look, wish granted. This is waiting for the wish. This is wish granted. It's here now. So if you was really loving, waiting for somebody, this ultimate love connection, somebody you can, you know, be with forever. This is what it seems like here. And we have um, the five of swords here. This is the reverse of it. Okay, so this is when, you know, we've been through these things. It, this could be uh, Mercury retrograde as well. Okay, guys. Just so you know, um, this could be somebody coming back and saying, look, we both lost out here. OK, let's work on this. But also it's seeing um, communication getting better here. Communications like terrible and it's a lose lose situation. These cards say, on the other hand, you know, we learned from this. We learned from whatever went on. I've learned to communicate better to move forward in my life. You know, um, I went through this lose-lose situation and had to walk away. But on the other hand, you know, I've come out on top of this. I really have because I, I learned something here. I learned to communicate better. I learned that, you know, communication is important. I learned that self-respect is important. I'm not just going to bow down to people here. And we have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So fresh communication coming in. Fresh information coming in for you guys, okay? And the Two of Pentacles where we're stood still. We're no longer stood still now. This is where the page is like, you know, spying and trying to get information in an underhand way. It shows as we move into Scorpio season here communication improves now you get to ask those questions you get answers to those questions you know now we can move things forward instead of being stuck still 
now I get closure here from this situation. Now I'm not just like, you know, trying to work things out and trying to juggle and trying to, um, you know, get things moving. But overall, I'm stood still here now. It's like that's behind me now because now I get these answers. This is the page of swords. I'm speaking to you to get answers. I'm not spying on you. Now I'm communicating with you. So it's fresh information coming in. And this is why we see, you know, um, this this being the other side. It's not like I'm lose-lose situation now. Now we see, ah, okay, hindsight. Okay, now I get why we can communicate better. Now I get why when I was spying, and getting misinformation on somebody's Facebook or somebody's social media, why that was lose-lose. Because spying gives false information. You know, they could be posting pictures from 10 years ago that was a memory with a new partner. And you're like, whoa, they're in a relationship. I'm just giving examples, guys, okay? And now you can actually speak to them. Now the communication improves and you've learned how to, you know, put up healthy boundaries and this self-respect. You're not no longer going to do this. You're not going to bow down to anybody. You're going to stand in your pride, stand in your strength here. You know, you've overcome this darkness. You can get to communicate properly with this person. You get good information coming in, good answers coming in here answers to your questions okay whether they be um you know are you in a relationship with somebody okay i'm moving on i waited long enough now i get to make this decision i'm moving on i'm happier i'm healed i've tamed this uh beast here <clears throat> somebody's coming in for me now now I understand I deserve this so much better i get my wish granted because i understand i've done the work I've, you know, had this strength and grace to overcome that devil energy, that toxic energy, that codependency, depending on you to be happy. Now I'm happy on my own. Okay, so you get information from the universe like, you know, here's a person for you, somebody who you deserve. Don't stand still anymore, you know, close the door there. Either way, it will be an answer for you here, okay? which is absolutely wonderful. You, you don't want the page spying. You want the page asking you, hey, do you want to go on a date? Hey, are you single? You don't want somebody looking on your Facebook to see if you're single. I just said to um, a friend of mine, um, after I was single, my relationship on Facebook still showed I was in a relationship for a year afterwards. And that's where the misinformation comes when spying, because like I was single for a year, but my Facebook that I never really bothered with showed that I was in a relationship for a year after I'd actually broken up with somebody. So do you see how that spying brings around lose-lose? But the moment you move into um, this page energy where, right, I want to be clear, look how valiant he's standing here. Like, look at this. So let's see. So you get your answers. You get some truth, some information that helps you to move forward. These are positive twos here. It's like signing new contracts, getting these answers, getting the information you want, learning new things that you want to know that help you move forward here that just add to your strength. You get this wish turning up now. It's no longer just a wish. It's actually a reality here. And it's like um, maybe Mercury with this Five of Swords actually finally, you know, brings, you know, this answer or this closure that you actually needed. Or maybe it, you realise, I ain't ever getting closure off this person when they're like this, if they're in this five of swords where they feel like, you know, they ran away, you just finally, something clicks. You get the message here with the eight of wands. You know, I'm moving on. And that's what you get, this forward movement with this two of pentacles. <clears throat> you get this recognition, this understanding that, yeah, 
it's time for me to um, live my best life here. Accept these rewards and stop closing the door on the rewards, hoping that I'm going to get some sort of answer from somebody here. It'll come when it'll come. <clears throat> the minute you think like that, boom, there comes the answer. Mercury retrograde, 31st of October. So, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so we have the five of cups now. So five is a difficult energy. So, um, yeah, this could be now that, okay, we have, um, we've sorted this out, you know. We see that there's still a connection there because here we're focused on the two cups rather than um, the sorrow of what happened. What happened is now behind you and that's the strength card, okay? So because we've been through Libra season and we're closing down cycles and putting an end to things here, okay, you're no longer focused on um, what went on. Whatever was causing your sadness, you're not just focused on this sadness anymore, you know, you're aware, okay, um, there is a soulmate out there for me. You know, from this, something will grow. I've grown from this. There's um, a rose there. That's what I was pointing at. So, yeah, there is love. There is a soulmate for you. And the king of roses, the queen of roses, there you go. Your soulmate is coming here because you're no longer focused on things that aren't serving you. You've grown from that. You've outgrown that, okay? That's really wonderful that you're now realising there's still... <laughs> wonderful. The hanged man. Enlightenment. Okay, so once we've gone through that um, Virgo season, you know, where we're trying to get things together, we're trying to find the answers and sort things out, and then we've gone through Libra season, and we're like, it's make or break, you know? But you're feeling a little bit lonely. Now you get the answers. Now you get this clarity. You know, this is the other side of the hangman where you're first going into this stage and, you know, it's still pretty dark. Now you have your answers. Now you're enlightened. Some of you could be like light workers, um, all sorts of things like that, that, you know, you was... You took the time to really focus on your spiritual growth here. Um, so you was happy single. You was, you know, happy where you're at. And um, when you got to Libra season, you started to feel that little bit of loneliness. And now you have the answers. Now you have hindsight. Now you're like, ha, ah, I see. Change of perspective. Now I see. Yes, there is somebody for me. There is still a soulmate here. So, you know, you get a new perspective during October. You start to look out to the future with wonder and strength and happiness here. Um, positive things with the Nine of Cups. You know, you're starting to see there is somebody out there and they're almost here with the King of Cups and Queen of Cups and Loving Elements. You see now why it didn't work with that person, maybe. <clears throat> Maybe you see why you and that person had to separate a little bit. It's just now you get the answers here. Look at this. Now I get the answers. When I'm not when I'm not here focusing on the sadness and I'm here focusing on there's still love in this world. There still can be growth here. That's when, you know, um, we see. That's when we get a new perspective. And you're getting your answers <laughs> Ace of Wands, you get your offers. I told you. You get your offers, you get movement. This is um, something new beginning, an opportunity. Grasp at it here, grab it. Look, this is the other side, you know, where the information or um, the opportunity you get, um, maybe just quite not right you know it may be too soon for you and then things go wrong but here it's like look at that piece in that card a message here and the growth here that's happened you get this offer this opportunity whether it's in work whether it's in love 
It's saying this is an opportunity not to be missed. Something exciting, something creative, something passionate here. A wonderful passionate offer. Because you've got this clarity now. You've awakened. You got your answers. You understand now. And you get that king or queen of cups, that ultimate party you've been waiting for. You know, now you can see magic in the world again. You're no longer just focused here. You can see, you know, this beauty in the world, all these loving elements. You believe again in love. You believe again in magic. Because you're not focused here. You're now here with the five of cups. You're now seeing, ah, oh, okay. There is the king or queen of roses right there for me because there's the rose, right? It's been all about the roses today, so you tell me. Are you going to get a bunch of roses? I hope I do. I'm a Scorpio, so I could receive some for my birthday. Hint, hint, guys. It's my birthday, 26th of October. I like flowers, roses. See ya.